Okay, in this video we're going to go over asymptotes and graphs of them. So for this course we're going to define an asymptote to be a line that a graph of a curve approaches but never meets. It is often represented by a dashed line and graph. So here are three examples. So this example right here is most, when we deal with a, an asymptote, this is what the graph will look like. Notice that and that these dashed lines are the asymptotes of this graph. So there's two of them. Now graphs can also have, as you'll see later on, let's see if I can do this, a slant asymptote. Notice how it's not vertical or horizontal, but slanted, and it can also be curved. All right, so it can be a parabola. And so these are just some examples of as possible asymptotes, but we're going to focus our energy in this video on graphs that look like this. So let's go to the next slide. So um, here is a graph of an at, of a hyperbola. So this graph is called a hyperbola. Okay. This is the line x equals 3. And this is the line y equals 2. So now here is a picture of that graph on the graphing calculator. Now notice that the graph has this line here. Now what happens on these calculators on the TI-83 that the graph wants to connect the most infinitely negative point down here on the y-axis with the most infinitely positive point on the y-axis here. This is not an actual asymptote. On newer models, that is not there. Okay, so I want to make sure you know that if you have a TI-83 and you're graphing it, this is not an asymptote. It's just that the software on this model is built to connect all the points, even though there's no points there. Okay, that's something to keep in mind. So let's focus on how do I identify um, the types of asymptotes. So there's two of them. First, we're gonna look like look at as the horizontal asymptote. Now it's exactly what you think it is. It's the horizontal dash sign and graph. So the y equals 2 here, that is the horizontal asymptote. So one way to think about this is if I take a function and I trace along that function infinitely to the right or infinitely to the left, right? The distance between this graph and this invisible dash sign you see becomes zero. That means that it has a horizontal asymptote. You can see, if I ignore these, that this graph seems to be approaching something on both sides, above and below. So when you see that kind of relationship, more often than not, you have a horizontal asymptote. The other type we're going to identify is the vertical asymptote. Now, a graph, I'm going to put this out here. Graphs can have more than one vertical asymptote, but they tend to have one and only one horizontal asymptote, or they can have none. So, a vertical asymptote would be this vertical dash line. So, this is vertical asymptote. So x equals 3 is the vertical asymptote. And so again, one way to quickly decide if I have a vertical asymptote is as I choose values of x that get closer and closer to a certain value. So in this case you can see how as I take values of x that get closer to 3 from positive infinity, so like closer to closer to 3 going from this direction, and closer and closer to 3 from the negative direction, right? They, the graph looks like it's getting vertical. Now we know functions can never be vertical or to fail the vertical line test. So when I see this kind of, um, when I see this kind of uh, um, characteristic of a graph, that's how I can tell if it has a vertical asset. So I'm going to leave you with a question. So, um, I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to graph a function, okay? I want to show you. So I'm going to graph something. So I'm going to, I want to ask you a question when I graph this, okay? Okay. 
So um, here's a graph of a function. So this is a graph. In fact, let's uh, change the window. Zoom in really close here. So I'm going to change this window to negative um, 5, 5, 1. Five in both directions, so you get a little closer view. Okay, so here's the graph of this function. So my question is, does this graph have a horizontal asymptote? Does it have a vertical asymptote? And if it does, can you name the equations to the lines that represent those asymptotes? All right. So this is a good question to ask. So there is a quick, quick overview of asymptotes.